this video, I'm going to show you how to manually enter in a new client and claim into Claim Wizard. If you'd like a faster way, you can go and use the Fast Entry button, but this is the way that you'd need to do it if you wanted to piece it together yourself. The first thing you would do is go over to Clients tab on the left-hand side and click. You would enter in a new prospect because you're just looking to get in the name and address and phone number of that new client. Enter in the information and then hit Save. From here it opens up a new client record that you can then go in at this point and add a property and then a claim to. If you need to modify any information here or add any additional information, go to the right hand side and click on the green edit contact summary button and enter in what you need. From here we're going to click down to properties and claims. You can't have a claim unless you have a property. At this point, you're going to go over to the right-hand side, click the blue Add Property button, and fill out the information as you have available to you. Once you have the property entered into Claim Wizard, now you need to add an actual claim onto the property. You want to make sure you have the property on the screen, go over to the right-hand side, and click the Add Claim button. From here, you can walk through the dialog boxes and enter in whatever information you have available to you on the claim. At this point, you want to enter in your contract date, your claim fee information, and whether or not you are accepting the claim at this time. Once you're done entering the information, click Next. The next screen will ask you for insurance carrier information. You can enter in what information you have available to you at this time. Once you're done, press the Next button. If you have mortgage information, you can also enter it here. The next screen asks you to enter in any claim personnel that you have at your adjusting company that you'd like to assign to this claim. First, you can select their role that you'd like to assign, such as adjuster. And from that point, the person and party dialog box gets pre-filled in with anyone in your company that already is available to act as role as adjuster for you. Select the personnel you want and press Next. You can go back and click any of the tabs on the top to go back and review the information. Otherwise, you can press Save and start the claim in your system. The next process is if you'd like to add a new claim or if you'd like to open the existing claim that you've just put into Claim Wizard. Here I've clicked Open Existing Claim and you can see some of the basic information here. We're still in the home property information of the client that we've just entered as well as the property and the claim information. If you need to add or adjust any information going forward, you can go through it by selecting the green buttons on the right-hand side that say Edit Claim or Edit Lost Details. From there, you can track and update the claim as you see fit.